Rebecca and welcome to the Groovy Sleep Train. If this is your first time watching me, go ahead and subscribe for more relaxing sounds. So today I thought I'd do another eating video because it's been a while since I've done one and you guys always really like them and I think I've only ever done like a couple, like maybe five, not loads. So. I thought I'd do one today on something different, so these are called wine gums, but they're basically just like a squidgy, chewy, sweet, so I kind of like jelly beans, but not so chalky. kind of sound that you're either gonna love or be grossed out by. So let me know which one it is. I love these. I used to eat them a lot. When I was a kid, just gotten back into them recently. The green ones are my favourite. The green ones are kind of limey, lime flavoured. I've been finding trying to record a video really challenging recently because <clears throat> construction has just started outside my windows um, so that's Monday to Friday half seven in the morning till about five um, I'm ex I can't film at all during those hours anymore. I used to like recording on a weekday in the daytime and getting the good light and, you know, I'm doing it during the week so that I can edit and have it uploaded by the weekend. But that has to change now because that routine's not working anymore with the construction sound. There's another type of sweet like this, and they were similar shape, you know, like circular cylindrical discs. And they always came in like a, a roll like that, but I think they were called fruit pastels. And they were really similar, but they had like a sugary, crystallized sugary coating. It was like rough to the touch and they were good too but I think I think their name has changed I don't 
don't know what it is anymore. If you know, let me know. Remember, there always used to be a controversy with these and the fruit pastels, actually, because I think the most popular flavours were, like, red and black. And it was always, like, when you'd get a new packet, you'd open it up to see how many red and black ones you had. Because sometimes it was none, and sometimes it was only a couple. Let's have a look, I'll open it up. And then, like, sometimes you do trades with your friends if they had loads. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Oh. There's only one black one, which is there. There's quite a few reds, so that's good, including the two that I've already eaten. And there's two more greens, including the one that I've already had, because green's my favourite. I remember other people didn't really like green, but I did. I think yellow and orange were the least favourites, these two here. But there was somebody's favourite out there. I'm sure somebody would have digged them. another green one. I'm sure Charlie is so cool like did a video back in the day where he ate like 200 wine gums or something. I wonder if that video is still on his channel because I know he's taken down a lot of his like old videos like his original content have a look for it. I used to love those, those challenges videos he used to do. I remember once he did like a, a Doctor Who one where he ate fish fingers and custard. Like I'm not a big fan of Doctor Who uh, personally so I don't really get why that's a combination but he did it and um, the thought of it is like pretty horrible, like the thought of eating fish fingers and custard, oh, but I remember he really liked it, <laughs> oh, it wasn't that bad. now I'm 
filming now, and this is literally the only time I could have filmed during this whole week at all. Probably gonna be my last one because I might ruin my lunch, <laughs> spoil my dinner. Did anyone see the um? The new Daniel Radcliffe film with Paul Dano called um, Swiss Army Man. That was so good. So funny. If you've not seen it, I would recommend it. But if you don't find fart jokes funny, you probably won't like it. My nose has a squeak. Sorry. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed listening to me eating those wine gums as much as I enjoyed eating those wine gums. And, well, sleep well and I'll see you next time.